is up, Tyrants. Today, I'm going to kind of just go over my workflow. I have reached out to a few artists and producers to get some, some work done. So what I'm doing for them is I'm making a cover art. Then I will also be doing a animation that is 30 seconds long in addition to the cover art and I'm going to base the animation off of the cover art. I have just generated this image here this morning based off of a prompt that was created by my prompt generator. If you're interested in that make sure you subscribe because I'll be showing how that works down the road. So I generated this and as you can see it turned out pretty decent other than the fact that the hair or I should say dreadlocks is inconsistent. You can see that it's actual like hair strands and kind of right there as well. So I went ahead and impainted and this is the result of the impainting. Now I'm using an XD SDXL model and at the time of recording this there is no inpainting for SDXL models. There's no designated inpainting for the SDXL model. It just wasn't turning out right. So I used an in painting model using a different checkpoint and it got me this result a little blurry but it does the trick so I I was pleased with this I went ahead and popped it into Canva but I added a glowing eye and whatnot some overlay and some text and generally it's turned out pretty well echo is very very satisfied with it so other than that that's where I'm at right now so I am going to now take this into Photoshop and move on to the next phase of my process. So what I'm going to do is just cut this out. It, it never hurts to see if the AI within Photoshop can just detect the subject, which it did a real good job actually. So let's just go in and refine it. Use a smaller brush size for So I'm going to cut that and then just paste it and hide that layer Then make sure we select this and then just going to click it content or fill for this kind of thing that didn't turn out too bad and then just run the AI on top of it much better. Mm, that's a tough one. I think I like the third one actually. So the idea I have for this is I'm going to run it through D forum and I just want it to just be like a futuristic city. I mean, obvi fucking obviously, since it is a futuristic city. But it is blurry now, so it's going to actually come out of blur and then just kind of transform. I want some flying cars, people walking by, and I, f I feel like that'll turn out pretty, pretty good. And then, yeah, we'll just run it through some After Effects and go from there. Let's make sure we merge that. And then also just got to make sure that he looks pretty decent. Make sure we select that. Let's get rid of this. Brush is way too big. My goodness. All right. Let's clone stamp that real quick. Kill. Not too shabby. Now we have a cool looking. I have like a little parallax effect. But we are just going to run some more AI through it. So let's name this. Excellent got those exported so now let's go back to stable diffusion and run this through deforum so before we actually dive into stable diffusion i need some prompts for deforum so i'm going to generate the prompts using my prompt generator that runs on gpt4 and i want a futuristic if i can spell city cyberpunk let's do skyscrapers civilians walking flying cars now we just sit back and let it generate now if you're interested in getting your hands on this definitely join the discord link is in the description below so we just go ahead and copy that then go back into here now i actually generated the prompt for this using my prompt generator so just pop that in there let me turn off these it never hurts to just fine-tune it honestly that looks 
pretty good. So let's just throw a cityscape negative in there and see how it do. And yeah, make sure you're not using an in-paint model. Before you run deform, you always just want to run your prompt a couple times just to see what kind of results you're going to get. Probably change the sampler to the one I will be using too. That would make a lot of sense as well. Not bad. Gonna up the sampling steps a bit. 30 should work. Let's run that one more time. I'm trying to run it without the cityscapes. Oh, does that look pretty fucking fire. So, this is a pass for me. So let's... Mm, this is one issue with the current version of my generator is it still puts in a little too much unnecessary detail but it doesn't it honestly doesn't matter at this point we're getting good results that's all that matters so let's copy that go back into the forum now i have all my settings set i think yeah yeah this should work so going to hit generate Hopefully, since I'm recording, my VRAM isn't just going to get absolutely absorbed and throw an error. We'll see. My settings are pretty moderate, so this will take a while. Two hours, it looks like. All right, so hours later, here we are. The final result of the render through the forum. Cars kind of kill me. They're just floating there, transforming, but doesn't look too bad. The only thing I wish I would have done on this is instead of doing a one to one aspect ratio, I wish I would have done a nine by 16 because this was, it's going to be used for a promotional video for Echo's music track, and it looks fine on Instagram and Twitter and all that shit, but Facebook, for some reason, Facebook Reels, it just absolutely fucks the quality up. That's the only stigma I have against the current process, but honestly, looks looks pretty good. So, I unfortunately did not record me finishing the project. So I've already finished and released this to the artist because I was kind of on a time crunch. I got a bunch of shit going on in my life. So I, I had to move a bunch of shit. So I just kind of just wanted to really get this done quick. But here is the After Effects. So I brought in the Canva image. I kind of broke down the cam Canva image into sections and imported it and did some automations on a bunch of stuff and just kind of fused everything together to get this result here. So yeah, looks looks pretty good. So really the only thing that I did here was transition from the cover art to the video. And then I, you know, made a little fancy, you know, animation with the the lettering there. And then obviously it changed the blur from the background to the foreground as it transitioned and yeah. I also did a cool little outro to get it looping. So once it ends, it'll just loop right back in and just kind of loop. So we got that done. Then I moved into Premiere Pro to finalize the project. So really the only thing I did was put a little bit of, so there's a fade in right there, a cross dissolve technically. And then also a constant power on the audio track. And then I did some vocals, lyrics for the vocals. Side subtitles for the lyrics, for fuck's sake. And boom, I think it looks pretty good. Echo loves it, and got 
bunch more shit coming. So if you like this workflow, let me know your thoughts on it. If you want to learn more about how I did this, hop in the Discord. Again, link is in the bio below. And if you didn't like it, why the fuck are you watching this? Fucking go away. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, hopefully you learned something. And if you like this kind of content, subscribe. I got a shit ton more. So you have a great night. Peace and love. Probably didn't know, probably didn't know I've been on the moon, I've been on the moon Always on go, always on go Nothing getting loose, nothing getting loose Mobbing with the go I ain't tripping cause I haven't made no figures yet Been stiller but you won't find me on final edge Ten bins is why I be passing your Pontiac Tight security, VIP and combine a Mac See my future behind the curtain